We're talking to Leslie and Susan today about the focus group and the initiatives that we're doing here at Beauclair. So Susan, can you tell us about the focus group that we had recently? Yes, the focus group was an effort to find uh, people who are between the ages of 40 and 60 who live in the community or come to this community and they talked with us about what it is that they would like to come out to Beaucliffe for. And we had a variety of people of different walks of life, many of whom are still working. Uh, and they, we found that they're looking for um, exercise programs, they're looking for workshops on specific kinds of areas of interest, uh, they're looking for social occasions, and they're looking for uh, a way to build community and to volunteer, but also to have programming that they find stimulating and useful in their lives. Can you talk a little bit, Susan, about why we're doing this? We are doing it because we have realized that there is a gap in services and programming provided for the people who are called boomers. Uh, the baby boomers are, are coming in, they're getting close to retirement, and the kinds of programming that we currently have is not what, the, it doesn't answer their needs. They need more vigorous exercise programs than we've been offering. They need, uh, they're interested in, in global concepts of things. They're interested in developing skills. And many of them are still working and are unable to come to programming during the day. Now the other thing that I wanted to ask you, Susan, is about um, the uh, um, the current programming here at Beaucliffe. You said it doesn't meet the needs. So can you talk a little bit about what we're doing um, to work towards the, the programming? Well, we've been, that was one reason we had the focus group. We, we were unclear as to what the needs were. We have tried various things in the past, uh, but it appears that for most of the boomers, they need to have a, um, they, they are not interested in coming to something every week. They're not interested in necessarily, um, they, they like variety, they need something they can fit into their busy lives. And some of the services they need are actually not so much for themselves as for their parents. And so we're still exploring. Uh, we got a lot of information from that focus group and a lot of people who have volunteered to help us develop the information into programming. And we found it a very really exciting uh, evening and we're, we look forward to working on it as we go along. Great. Now one of the initiatives that we talked about at the focus group was a, an open house. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes. We would like to have an open house and invite uh, groomers and their parents to come and see the programming that we currently have and also to show the boomers the kind of programming that we're putting into place. So if the, the boomers' parents are not aware of the fact that we have exercise programs, we have painting, we have lunch three days a week, we have a wide variety of people who come through the center. The Alberta Handicraft Guild meets here. We have crib, we have bridge, we have a lot going on. And so we would like for the parents to learn about what our current programming is. And we hope that the boomers who come along with them will be impressed with the programs that we're developing as a result of the focus group. Thanks, Susan. And now we're going to talk a little bit to Leslie, our food goddess, as we like to call her. Leslie, do you want to talk a little bit about how you've developed as food service coordinator? Because you haven't been here that long, have you? No, uh, I think just about seven months. And uh, when I started, it, the program was one day a week. Uh, and there was about 35 to 40 people on, a, on an average day, or an average Wednesday. And now the program has expanded uh, to three days a week. And uh, actually in February we served just under 300 people. Uh, That's great. In, in the shortest month of the year. 
So, um, so yeah, it's it's coming along really well. I've heard lots of great things about your different food items, and I can personally vouch for that. You're a great cook, Leslie. Leslie, can you talk a little bit about the um, activities we have coming up based on some of the focus group planning? Okay, sure. Um, our first event is coming up on Friday the 18th of March, and it's a pub night uh, with Irish an Irish inspiration because it's the day after St. Patrick's Day. So we'll be having Irish stew and soda bread and uh, cabbage and potatoes and green beer and uh, that's the food part of it and then there will also be some activities, darts, um, wee bowling and poker and we're hoping to uh, oh and also we're hoping to have a dart tournament and uh, we're hoping to just get some people out to have some fun and win some prizes and uh, meet their neighbors. Great. And can you talk about the um, focus, the age group focus for well, this we're, event? We're looking for late 40s to early 60s uh, would be sort of where we're focusing, but it's, we're certainly not going to turn anyone away. Um, and uh, I think uh, the more people that come and check it out, the more uh, we'll decide they want to come back because uh, we've got, for April, we've got um, an Italian night planned with uh, some wine tasting. And uh, then in May, we're going to be um, partnering with our neighbors, the Hellenic Society, to do some uh, Greek night. And they're going to come teach us how to dance like Greeks and maybe even throw some dishes. We'll have to see. <laughs> that sounds like fun. And of course, there will be Greek food. So um, it will be fun. Great. Well, thank you very much, ladies, for sharing, uh, of course, our events that we're planning are open to all, especially our regular members, because we have some pretty active seniors in our community. So we certainly want them to be very welcome, but we are trying to get events that attract the, um, the new members. So thanks very much for sharing with me, ladies. You're welcome. welcome.